My name is <laughs> Ron Glass, and I am a fan of Firefly. You know what? I, you know, this whole genre is totally new to me. I mean, I was never like, you know, so I truly am a fan. And, uh, you know, it happened because of Joss and Joss's writing. I mean, I just, I, I read this script and I was like, I, I, I gotta be in this. I'll do anything, you know. I could talk about these fans for like a really, really long time because, you know, I've been, I've been in this business for, you know, a little while. And so I've, I, you know, I have a lot of experience with fans of various kinds. <laughs> <laughs> but in addition to that, I, I, I am just so, so, so impressed with the, you know, the normal stuff in, 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 in terms of, you know, like their, their devotion and their sincerity and their, their, their incredible support and all those kinds of things. It really moves me that they are so genuine and so, um, it's that gentleness that just really, really, really kills me. It's amazing. From these, you know, you know, people, you know, these are not, you know, flowers swaying in the wind, you know what I mean? I mean, these are real people. I mean, I worked out with some of these guys today, you know? I mean, it just are like, well, I didn't work out like they did, but I was there. <laughs> so anyway, they're, the fans are, they're, they're, they're phenomenal. I think the thing that really draws these particular kinds of fans to this particular material uh, is, is, you know, fundamentally, it's Joss and Joss's writing. I mean, clearly, you know, he already had, um, you know, some support. <laughs> you know, he had, he had another show or two, you know, that were, you know, kind of, okay. <laughs> you know, so he had, a, he, had a, he had a great base going already, but, you know, it, it's just that, you know, in a certain kind of way, it's the same thing that attracts me. I mean, on a certain level, it, it's just this, there's a profoundness to the writing. One of the things that's interesting to me about the character that I play is that this character is decidedly a rather fundamentalist persuasion. And I am not. <laughs> so when I, when I approach Joss about you know, possibly being able to um, to represent a, a, a slightly tilted point of view from the, from the one that he had in mind for me. He said, sorry, that's taken, that belongs to Morena. <laughs> so I said, well, maybe we could switch roles. No, that wouldn't work, so anyway, it's been the... <laughs> <laughs> we were at work, and Joss called everybody in, said, you know, we need to have a talk. And he just let us know that it was, um, that it was cancelled. And it was, uh, it, it was very emotional. Um, you know, because of the attachment to everything. I mean, the character first, and then the other characters and that's an interesting thing about this whole process is that as much as I love my own character there I mean almost to a person I love each one of these characters in this thing you know what I mean so I mean it's it's like so anyway I, I suppose that's why you know you get a certain kind of sense of camaraderie and kind of family and stuff like that amongst us because there's a genuine respect I suppose for these characters one of the things about celebrity is that the kind of things that people respond to tells you a lot about who they are. For example, we did an episode on Barney Miller that was about brownies that had hashish in them. And to a person, the people who come up and say to me, oh, guess what my favorite episode was? 
and they tell me about the brownies. Well, I, I know I know many things about them. You know what I mean? <laughs> so in a certain kind of way, because of the kind of material this is, the people who are fans of this material, I know some things about them. And they are things that I like. And so it inspires me to want to, be, to engage them more. In addition to that, I think the, the, the thing that is so um, really outstanding about these Firefly Serenity fans is the incredible inspiration and power that they have given to us in that I feel fairly confident that, well, I feel certain <laughs> that without them there would not be any serenity. I'm, I'm genuinely glad to be here. <laughs> and, you know, for the most part, I mean, you know, I mean, if we're going to spend the time, we might as well find things to enjoy about the time that we have, you know. So, um, you know, mind you, I, I, you know, there are times when I am uh, a lot more sober than what you see me as, you know, like when I'm doing really, really fun things. I mean, because my life, like everybody else's life, is not always fun, you know, but fundamentally, I have found um, a philosophical base, I suppose you would call it, that, uh, that allows me to have a worldview that allows me to really, really enjoy most of my moments of being alive. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha!